Hello and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. Today we're going to restore a spoiler series Hot Wheels King Cuda. I absolutely love these spoilers cars. When they first came out and I had every single one of them, I had the club cars. Man, did I love these things. Well, when I started restoring these cars and I got back into it, one of the first ones I restored was a TNT Bird. And that was, of course, my first video. You should check it out. It's, uh, you can definitely tell it was my first video for sure. But uh, I plan on remaking that video, by the way. Also, um, this car here is painted blue, but it's a Mopar. Mopar's scream for plum crazy purple. So, we got a bunch of, uh, work we got to do here on this car to get it ready to go, so... Let's go ahead and get it apart and get started. I've already drilled out the post and we're going to go ahead and take the car apart here. I still need to take the engine out. I've already drilled it out. I just need to unscrew it. This car has got a lot of paint missing and it definitely needs a new paint job. There we go pop that thing right out there all right let's go ahead and evaluate the parts like I said there's a lot of paint missing on this car but you can tell underneath the paint that there's an awful lot of toning so we're gonna have to address that the base is in pretty good shape overall needs a little bit of polishing a little bit of cleanup we'll take care of that that's looking good wheels are not too bad, but I'm going to replace them anyways. If you're going to do a restoration, you might as well go all the way. Windshield's in pretty good shape, but it needs to be polished. The interiors just needs to be cleaned up. And we do have some light scratches on that windshield, but we'll get that taken care of also. And the engine definitely needs to be polished up. Let's move on. Let's go ahead and throw this body in some paint stripper, a little bit of citrus strip. Get the inside and the outside, especially since we're doing a color change. Definitely want to get that taken care of. There, we'll let that set for a while. Alright, we'll check back on this later. Now it's time to polish up the body. We've got the body here. There was an awful lot of toning on the back end of this car. I had to go in with some sandpaper, sand it down. I started with approximately 600 grit, worked to 800, 1200, and then went up from there. Got it all nice and smooth. Now we're going to polish it. Here I'm using the Blue Magic Metal Polish Cream. I use this on the rims of my trucks and it works extremely well. Uh, I also use Flitz, which is a very good product, and I use that in between sometimes. But uh, I've got this stuff here and I've had it for a while, so I'm going to go through it, and if it keeps on working the way it is, I'm going to buy me another jar. But I've got my little portable Dremel here. It's all cordless. My uh, mother-in-law got this for me for Christmas, and it uh, we charge up the battery and plug it in and go to town, and it, it lasts a good amount of time. But look how quickly the shine is coming through on this car. This is what's going to make your paint job look that much more special. When you have that paint job all shined up and ready to go, excuse me, the uh, the body all shined up ready to go, that paint job is just going to pop through and it's going to look absolutely fantastic. Again, prepping the body is the secret to a good looking paint job and a good looking car. If you have your body all nice and polished and it looks good, and you've done everything you possibly can. You've smoothed out the bumps and the flashing lines from the casting and stuff like that. This is what's going to make your car look that much more special, I promise you. It almost looks like chrome. That's how nice this is coming through. Now when you're done with this, you're going to take a cloth, like I'm going to do here, and you're going to wipe it down and make it look good. Get all that residue off. Now before you paint, 
make sure that you use some kind of a degreaser to get this this uh, residue off from where you polish the car because it does leave uh, a wax or a silicon base on there and it will definitely reject your paint so you don't want to do that so get your really nice degreaser and scrub it down rinse it off with nice hot water and you'll be good to go that's looking absolutely sweet all right let's degrease it now we'll paint it the body looks fantastic it's nice and shiny here we're changing the color from a blue to a purple using the paints from the redline shop I'm using this spectra flame purple and man that color is fantastic I love the way it shines when it's done I'm gonna try and keep on cranking out videos folks as long as I can during this national crisis to make sure that you've got some content to look at now if I can crank them out every day I'll crank them out every day just please tell your friends get in here subscribe please this is what keeps the channel going and don't forget the patreon page you'll see a link coming up in the comment section this purple is really starting to look nice now if you do have a little bit of toning on your car some of these darker colors like your purple your blue possibly your red it'll hide some of the toning now not all of it if you want it to look really super good try and get rid of all the toning you can look how shiny that paints turning out man that's pretty these King Kudas look really sweet in the purple paint any Mopar looks good in the purple paint man that's looking nice I let my car sit at least overnight sometimes a full day before I even attempt to do anything with them once they're painted. Man, am I really happy with that paint job. That looks spectacular. Now we've got the body, or the base. We're going to go ahead and put this tail light in. I've got my Sharpie paint pen. And we're going to put in that tail light, color that in. That's looking good, but we're going to have to flip it over and make sure we get both sides equally. Looking good. All right. Now we've got the windshield. We're going to use a little bit of this Meguiar's plastic polish and we're going to try and buff it up without using the gauzy or the pledge revive just a little bit of polish go ahead and shake it up in the bottle a little bit of polish on a cloth and we're going to go ahead and rub it down now you can take a very fine sandpaper and you can buff it down sand it down a little bit just to get all those micro scratches out of there but this is just as good you'll start to hear the plastic squeak the cleaner it gets make sure you rub the inside and the outside too it's not perfect but it looks damn good there you go now let's get the windshield itself you can almost hear the car taking off don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell to be alerted to any future videos that come out I've been sitting here during this time frame when the uh, virus is going on here the coronavirus and I'm trying to knock out videos so you folks have something to do it takes a lot of effort and a lot of supplies to go through and do these videos there that's looking pretty good let's move on now we're gonna polish up the engine 
I went ahead and used my Dremel tool and a polishing bonnet and some of that Blue Magic Metal Polish Cream. Look how nice that turned out. Beautiful, beautiful chrome looking engine. That's fantastic. Let's move on. Now we're going to change out the wheels. The base is in pretty good shape. We just took a brass brush to the bottom and cleaned that up. Now we're going to pop off the old tires. Make sure you use both your thumbs and put equal pressure on either side of the tire to take it off. If it feels like it's really sloppy or it's going to stretch out, don't, don't push it off anymore. Go ahead and cut that tire off because you don't want to ruin these bearings on the axles on these tires because they're so hard to replace. Now we got two large bearing type tires in the back and two large ones, or excuse me, two medium ones in the front. Put them on there as best you can without bending the axle. And then use this adjustment tool that I got from the Redline shop. Put it between the bearing and the axle and the, and the base wall and squeeze it on with your thumb. That'll take up any loose slop in there. That's looking good. Sometimes you might not be able to get that bearing tool in there. Just do the best you can with pushing your wheel back on. That's looking good. Nice brand new shoes. Here we've got all of our parts. We got the purple paint job. That turned out fantastic. Spectre Flame Purple. We got the base with the brand new shoes. Tail light colored in. The front end looked good. I didn't have to touch that. We got the beautifully polished engine using that Blue Magic Metal Polish Cream. We got the windshield all buffed out. The interior looked good. We just scrubbed it down with a toothbrush and some soap and water. And there's all your parts. Let's put it together and do our reveal. And this is what we started with. A Hot Wheels Spoiler Series King Cuda. Now the car looks fantastic. We, I love these cars like I said and I try and collect all of them that I can. We went ahead, we stripped it down, we cleaned it up, we polished it up, we put new beautiful purple paint on it, we put brand new shoes on it, we cleaned up the bottom, did some detailing, polished up the motor, polished up the windshield, cleaned up the interior, and it looks fantastic. And this is what we got to. A beautifully restored Hot Wheels Spoiler Series King Cuda. With that beautiful purple paint, man, this car turned out fantastic. I don't like putting all those stickers back over the top of the car, the numbers and the stripes sometimes. Sometimes they call for it. I don't think this is one of those times. We put brand new wheels on there that I got from the Redline shop. Please go check out John's website at www.redlineshop.com. Beautiful, fantastic replacement parts for your car. Great stuff, great service. Please check them out. This has uh, been a lot of fun today with this car. I'm trying to knock out as many videos as I can for you folks while you're home waiting for this virus thing to clear up so you can get back to your normal lives. It takes some time, effort, and supplies to keep this page going. Folks, please sign up for my Patreon page. Not only do you get to see videos one to two days ahead of time before they're released to the public, but you also get to see pictures of work in progress, and then you also get a chance once a month to be entered into a drawing to win some of these cars that I do in the videos. I'd like to thank Jim Silva. Please go check out his YouTube page. Jim Silva, my friend, thank you so much. Looking forward to doing a build-off with you soon, sir. Stacy Wright, sir, thank you so much. Daryl Bagtell, one of my friends and first subscribers. Michio Woods Garage. Richard, please check him out. He's got a Facebook page where he sells all these Hot Wheels and a bunch of other different types of cars. Check him out. Aaron Murphy out there in sunny California. Thank you, brother, and please stay safe with all, this, all these health issues that are going around. William K7 Robinson, thank you, sir, and he's a truck driver, folks. Please pray for him because he's keeping America stocked. Mr. Jake Rademacher, thank you, sir, and new member Sam Pascal. 
Guys, thank you so much for your generosity in keeping this page going. God bless you so much. Thanks again for your time today. I'll keep pumping out videos as quickly as I can. This is Paul from Diecast Graveyard. Thank you so much and have a great day and please you and your family stay safe and healthy. Take care.